Welcome, welcome. Welcome back to the daily live video. As you can tell, this is not live again because we had to pre-record this. We can't stream this evening, so sorry for that. But if you comment, we'll be responding to every single comment and question down below in the comment section for the next few days. But thanks for joining in, everybody. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. And today, we're going to talk about why Tesla killed the 0.99%, why this fantastic offer is is come, has come to an end, especially if you're looking for a big term, a nice term like 72 months, it is no longer available. So we're going to take a look at that plus a variety of topics, but usually this is where I run my intro really quick, but as you can tell, we are not at home. And I mentioned that. Uh, thanks for jumping in, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments, and everything. And let us jump into this. So, and all live streams are partnered with Mint Mobile, but more on that later. Let's take a look at it. So in case you missed it, 0.99 does exist at the moment. It still does exist, so don't freak out. But I know it, it's gone for certain terms that are probably more favorable for most people. So right now on the website, you can see 0.99 APR financing. And the cool thing is that it seems like Tesla is still giving it to people that may have ordered even as recently as last night. So it went away yesterday, but still people were still getting it as of last night after placing their brand new order. But if you take a look at it, 0.99 exists anywhere from 36 to 48 to 60 months at 72 months, which is a decent term for good financing. It goes away at that and it turns into 1.99%. But even if like 84 months, if you need to stretch it out, it's not probably recommended, but I do understand some people want to go that far. But 84 months, you can see it's still 2.99%. So because of this, I do not expect 0.99% to stay through June. It is definitely going away by the end of the month. But here's the reason why Tesla took it away. And it's kind of a weird one why they took this away, right? Because they did kind of say like all orders now until May 31st, you'll be able to get it. But now like depending on the term, you are not able to get it. So it's kind of like you could still get it. But of course, you might not be able to get it if you're picking like 72 months or 84 months. But here's the reason why it's going away. Shout out to Christopher Dungeon for posting this. Model Y inventory has cleared. And he asked the question, will we see 0.99% return in June? I'm, I'm, I'm a betting man, and I think that certainly it's not coming back for sure. And here's why. Here's an inventory list we can see from this page right here on the mustard yellow line. That is the Model Y inventory. It is starting to decrease at a rapid pace. These few zigzags up and down. That was when the first 0.99 was released. But now that it is the end of the month, and probably because people are realizing this is not going coming back in June, it is now time to try and take delivery, and vehicles are selling at a pretty fast pace. And so certainly 0.99 is very attractive. It could be more attractive than the five thousand to six thousand dollar discounts that we were seeing not that long ago. But take it with, you know, even if you're you're not not everybody qualifies for the 0.99%, depending on your credit history history, depending on your income and how much down payment you're going to get, you might be in a situation like this one right here. Shout out to Spotter for posting this. You can see this is through Santander, which is this is a Tesla backend screenshot. So this is still through Tesla financing. And Santander is the bank that's giving that 0.99%, but not a qualified or a not a well-qualified type of buyer this same screenshot seems to be from because this person got approved. I mean, they still got approved at 60 months at 12.2 APR. And of course, this has got a big fat down payment as well as over $13,000 and a monthly payment because of the 12 percent APR financing rate of $858 a month. So really, this is a tough one because this is almost like you really shouldn't be buying your car at that high of a rate unless you are someone that uses the car and you need it as an income type of thing, like you drive for Uber or something like, like that. But certainly not the best look at the moment right there. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. To our next topic, I've been trying to save money lately, and that's why we talk about this channel, trying to get the best deal on a Tesla. And I've been looking at our subscriptions like YouTube Premium, Netflix, trying to figure out how I could save some money every single month. 
And cutting expenses, it's kind of hard. We've been trying to rack our brain together and figure out how. That's why I'm so intrigued with our channel partner, Mint Mobile. They offer premium wireless starting at $15 a month. And I can get high-speed data and unlimited talk and text on the nation's largest 5G network. And I can even bring my own phone along with my current number and existing contracts. I'm sacrificing nothing. I've used Mint Mobile a ton and I switched my second line to Mint Mobile and I've been using it to watch YouTube and play podcasts on our daily commute and have notice any drop in speed and i can't tell the difference so how hard is it to switch service big wireless wants you to think it's actually hard but it's not at all switching to mint is super easy thanks to digital e-sim cards which most of you now have you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home if your phone doesn't have an e-sim mint will ship you a new sim card for free and right now i'm talking right now this month new customers that purchase a mint mobile plan before may 31st will also receive a six month subscription to Paramount Plus on Mint. So if you want to save little money without the sacrifice, go to trymintmobile.com slash DennisCW, also linked down below in the description, to get premium wireless for just $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. Thank you to Mint for partnering, and let's get on to the next topic. In this next topic, we've got a brand new set of wheels for the Model Y. Pretty interesting timing because we've got a lot of different promotions happening right now for the Model Y. And now there is a new set of dark Gemini wheels available for Model Ys. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Gregor Truck. They posted this. Tesla has launched the 19 inch Gemini dark wheels. And I got to say, this is 100% not worth it you can see right here from the black ones to the silver ones it's essentially the same exact design but it's just painted black or not sorry not painted a color of black but you're gonna be paying five hundred dollars for that black color i mean there's plenty of ways i feel like you can get this much cheaper than paying 500 but i get it if you're a busy person if you're a busy man or woman and you don't have time to try and get them painted if you like the look of them getting painted then certainly paying that 500 hundred dollars right up the front then that could be the look you're trying to go for but really at this point i would just pay the extra fifteen hundred dollars for the two thousand dollar induction wheels i like the look of them they're bigger wheels and they look great and they're staggered fitment as well so that you can go and get all the tires rotated but same thing with the 19 inch rims but $500 more for the black one seems like a little bit of an upcharge there but certainly if you're a fan of it I mean I'm a fan of it but I'm just not a fan of it paying for $500 from it but seems seems like I don't want to say cash grab but seems like a very interesting move for Tesla to do this but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on let me know what you're thinking do you like the black ones or do you like these silver ones but thanks for jumping in everybody uh th thanks for jumping on on that on that topic this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Down below in the description is a Patreon link. We support the channel and get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. And as an added benefit, I do respond to all DMs or messages in the in the Patreon app. And you can schedule a phone call with me where we can go over your exact buying situation on how to get the best Yoni Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. In this next topic, we've got an infograph of all the different EV repair costs listed out. Let's take a look at this because some of these look pretty interesting. I haven't yet heard of anybody paying for some of this, but uh, also because probably Teslas are brand new with a warranty. But let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And as a reminder, this is not live, so uh, we will be resp resp responding to all comments down below in the comment section. So definitely drop one if you got a question. Shout out to Car Dealership Guy. They posted this interesting chart re showing repair costs of major components in electric vehicles. The big question if the average person owns a vehicle for eight years, how will these costs compare to an ICE vehicle? So let's take a look at this because, of course, the big one that a lot of people try and go to or gravitate to is the electric vehicle battery. And they've got it listed here at $25,388. But we've already seen that Tesla batteries and maybe not other. EV batteries, but Tesla batteries can get as cheap as seven to eight thousand dollars for replacement. But some of these other costs seems to get pretty interesting. I've yet to hear of some of these other items being replaced on Tesla vehicles, but maybe that's because a lot of Tesla vehicles haven't really gone past like the 200, 300 thousand mile 
threshold but still really interesting to see all these different things but just like any vehicle there could be repair costs if these things start to break down in the future but still really good interesting to see what the different costs may be but let me know what your thoughts on it. let me know what you're thinking just a quick topic on this thing i thought this was interesting so that you guys can see as well with how much cost different items on the electric vehicle could be and so that's why personally i've never really wanted to own any vehicle or the electric vehicle even included without a warranty because i just don't want to deal with any sort of headache and warranties have really been good to me in the past and hopefully in the future as well but definitely some pretty interesting stuff let me know what your thoughts on it we're going to jump into the next topic and this last topic great news model 3 performance has in this next topic, great news. Model 3 Performance just got better range. Let's take a look at what was actually released. EPA finally came out and tested it, and it's got better range than the previous version. Let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla deal hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Nick. They posted this. Great news for U.S. Model 3 Performance owners. EPA has officially rated its range at 303 miles, seven miles above Tesla's expectation of 296 previously so maybe this wasn't as better than the previous version but still 303 miles is pretty good it's that elusive 300 mile mark especially for a badass vehicle like the model 3 performance that is an impeccable value the argu arguably the best value model 3 at the moment because it qualifies for that 7500 federal tax credit so hopefully this comes out and hopefully it starts to deliver in full force i've yet to see that many deliveries of the model 3 performance I think there's one maybe or two confirmed, but if you're in the Southern California area, I want to know, I want to join you at your Model 3 performance delivery. I'd love to record a video about it. So certainly if you're about to take delivery, let me know and I'd love to just sit in one or be around one so I can see what it's all about. But a lot of people ask, is the 7,500 federal tax rate coming to the Model 3 long range? I think Tesla is trying their best to try and get it to qualify, but it's yet on them and the government to try and figure out if it'll qualify at the end of the day. But certainly I would say like there's a good chance that the Model 3 long range could qualify, but at the same moment, like maybe there could be discounts and other incentives on the Model 3 long range as as Model 3 long range starts to increase in more and more inventory. The surprising thing here is as Model Y starts to decrease at a pretty rapid pace because of the 0.99% financing offer, we can see this pink line, this Model 3 line inventory is starting to increase pretty quickly. So is there going to be incentives and promotions on Model 3? I think for sure. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this is actually sponsored by my patreon link down below in the description is the patreon link we support the channel so definitely check it out if you're interested